So hello, I'm Ines Grande and today I'm going to do a video presentation about the triple X syndrome. So firstly of all, how scientifically is the triple X syndrome? We have the overview of everything where we can find some other names of the triple X syndrome that is also called trisomy X or 47.XXX. The syndrome affects um, 1 into 1000 females and it is a genetic disorder. The females normally have two X chromosomes in all of the cells and one X chromosome from each parent. And this syndrome, uh, the females have three X chromosomes in each cell. The symptoms are the same, the next uh, block. We have the symptoms and the ones that are most common are the delayed development of speech and language skills as well as motor skills, intelligence in the normal range but possibly slightly lower when compared with siblings so you have less IQ than your siblings normally, being taller than average height, normal sexual development and have the ability to become pregnant, and talking about the brain specifically, we have uh, learning disabilities, behavioral problems, psychological problems, problems with the fine and gross motion skills between other symptoms. Sometimes the tribus X syndrome can be associated also with these other signs or symptoms uh, physically talking like epicantal folds, widely spaced eyes, abnormally curved pinky fingers, flat feet, abnormally shaped breastbone, hypotonia, scissors, kidney abnormalities, ovary abnormalities or development, developmental delays, the ones that I've talked about before, which are the main causes. So females with triple X syndrome have a third X chromosome and this is caused from a random cell, a random error in during the cell division. This error can happen before conception or early in the embryo's development, resulting in one of these forms of triple X syndromes. The first type is by non disjection either the mother's egg cell or the father's sperm cell divides incorrectly, or the second one, mosaic, so the extra chromosomes result from an incorrect cell division caused by a random even early in the embryo's development, so during the pregnancy. And that's been basically a little bit of this um, illness, so thanks to you a lot.